Good morning, my name's Henry Jordan. I'm the variety testing manager here at Auburn University, and I'm standing in an early planting maturity group for soybean trial at our E.V. Smith Research Center. So on my right is what a typical variety trial would normally look like. On my left is what happens when we have extreme nematode pressure. So a little bit about this trial. It was planted on April the 22nd. It was an early planted trial, maturity group four soybeans. I came out in mid to late June and took pictures, variety specific pictures of this trial. And for the most part, everything looked like this variety on my right. When I came back, about a month later in July, you can see what we've got on my left. So one thing I want to bring up here is the importance of variety selection. Choosing the right variety can either make or break a grower in certain conditions. So obviously this variety on my right is very tolerant compared to the variety on my left. So here we can see some pretty severe symptomology caused by a root knot nematode. And what actually happens is the J2 phase of the nematode actually enters the root and creates the, these galls around themselves. In that field, we've got a foliar disease, but we also have nematodes. So Claire has dug up a root. I don't know if we can get close enough. You can get massive galling on this root system caused by the root knot nematode. That's a fungal nematode, a fungal disease. That's come in probably with the interaction of this nematode that opened the wounds in the roots, and then the fungus came in and you saw how much death it caused. But everything does not die, and some of these roots are still surviving. You can see the plant has put on extra roots in the top, trying to make up for the damage caused by the nematode. And this one, look at Claire, looks so pods, it's still surviving. Lots of pods on this one. It looks good. So this is a bad situation with root knot nematode. in the soybean field where we pretty clearly have some symptomology going on. Um, so in order to make sure that it is the root knot nematode, um, we're going to take a quick soil sample. So what you're going to want to do is take your soil probe and place it pretty close to your root system. And then go ahead and take that soil sample. You're going to want to get a few places along these rows um, and then you're going to mix these samples together in a Ziploc bag and then you're going to want to treat it like like a gallon of milk. You don't want to get, you don't want it to get too hot. Um, you're going to want to keep it refrigerated so that you can then send it into the Auburn lab and they can tell you if you have what type of nematode you have and also the population number and then that can help you make better management decisions. On this variety that you see, we still have root knot nematode damage, and you can see the galling here, but it's not as severe as in that last plot. So we do appear to have some tolerance on here in this plot, and you notice we don't have as much of the fungal diseases either. So <clears throat> this variety is a little taller, much fuller, has more yield, but it still does have the gall. So the nematode is here, but not causing a severe damage. So we'll just call this one more tolerant. And here, in this variety, this you notice the roots of this plant, which looks so lush and green, it has a good yield on it, no fungal disease, has also very little nematodes, but and the root system is quite clean. So this one is definitely looking very good. We did, we expect to find some root knot nematodes on it, but it's definitely not got the gallon, so it is a very tolerant. So the variety trials are extremely helpful that we can look at all these different genetics and see the expression of all these varieties when we do have a nicely root knot infested field with fungal diseases. That'll be So if you have your soybeans with uh, showing galls like this one because of root knot nematodes, you may need to switch varieties and get a very nice root system like this one. So this plant is showing the ability to fight the root knot nematode. And if you have the root knot nematode in your field, you're going to have to have a very good variety that is tolerant to this uh, problem. And also, you're going to have to do your management practices accordingly to help your soybean plant fight the nematode.
So fungicide, insecticide, keep the pests away, keep diseases away, help your plant to fight the nematode. Also, during the winter, you can rotate your field with some options like wheat, rye, and black oats to help the population of the nematode keep down. Another option you have is to be certain that when you buy your seed, uh, they come with a nematicide treatment on, uh, on the seed. And that way you, you're gonna have another help to have your plants healthy and fighting the problem. And if you want to see the data and results from this trial, you can go to the Variety Testing website.